Hi, I'm Robert Height, driver in the Auto Club Chevy Camaro Funny Car for John Force Racing. I'm Braxton Scott, junior dragster driver. I'm Riley Scott, junior dragster driver. I'm Victoria Beener, and also a junior dragster driver. What was the biggest challenge as a driver when you first started? Just, you know, keeping it in the groove. The Funny Car's, you know, 125 inch wheelbase, it's short, it wants to move around, and, you know, you've got to learn to keep it in the groove, but do it, you know, not not so aggressively that you smoke the tires. Because if you make big, big moves in there, you know, you're unloading the chassis and the tires and you'll smoke the tires. So you gotta, you gotta stay ahead of the car. And you see it move, you gotta be on top of it. That means having your eyes way down right in the racetrack because they, these cars are accelerating faster than your brain can process. So the biggest thing was to get your eyes out there and then things just slow down. But um, you know, the best advice I ever got was, you know, try to make 50 runs as quick as you can and as close together as you can so that you kind of experience all different scenarios. And that way, you know, if it happens again, you're, you're used to it and you can learn from it. So that was really good advice. So what advice do you have for young racers like us? You know, uh, it's... It's, it's really just about having fun, okay? Uh, my daughter and I raced from when she was eight years old until she aged out, and the, some of the best times we had together was uh, not even at the racetrack. It was traveling up and down the road and getting to the places and talking and just, you know, a lot of father-daughter time. It's really cool. But, um, you know, you meet a lot of nice friends, yeah. and... You know, my daughter, her still, some of her best friends come from juniors, not from school. So, uh, you know, interact with all the kids and have some fun, and the lens will come. Yeah. What goes through your mind when you're in the staging lanes and when you're pulled up to that tree? So in the staging lanes, when I'm in the tow vehicle, is when it kind of all starts for me. Uh, I'm listening to the broadcast and hearing what other cars are running. I also have a radio in the, in the Suburban that I can hear what my crew chiefs are talking about with our track guy Lanny. So you're just trying to get your head in the game and, and be prepared for what's coming at you. you know? uh, are you going to have to pedal the car? Is it you know it's a tricky track condition? Just being ready for everything. Uh, you know once the car starts, it's it's not hard for me to focus because you know this thing is 12,000 plus horsepower and uh, it's a it's a real machine. So doing the same thing over and over and having a routine to where you're consistent and uh, that's what drag racing is all about. As you guys know, in juniors, consistency. Yep. Uh, the car has to be consistent, the driver has to be consistent, and it's, it's no different with what we do. So what was your first car and tell me in the history behind it? So my first car was a 66 Plymouth Belvedere that was, uh, was purchased new in the family. It was my uncle's car. And then my dad and I restored it when I was uh, started on it when I was 15 years old, and got it finished. We worked on it slowly, and to where when I turned 16, it was done. But uh, I learned a lot about uh, mechanics and working on cars, and that actually that car is uh, what you know made me realize that this is what I want to do for a living. I want to be around race cars and mechanics and, and learn about this stuff. Didn't ever think I'd get to drive. That was just, uh, it happened later. Uh, I really liked the mechanics and being a part of the racing team. So now we're going to move on to some rapid fire questions. And the first one is, if you could go anywhere on the world, you know, where would you go? Um, to another drag race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course. Beach or mountains? No, uh, mountains. What is your favorite track and why is it? I like Charlotte. Uh, this place, this facility is the nicest facility we go to. I mean, it's just top of the line. The fans are great. I like that it's kind of right in, in this town of Concord, and there's everything you need right here. Uh, it's, it's the perfect race weekend for me when I come to Concord. What's your favorite hobby outside of racing? Uh, shooting. I like to shoot trap. That's just shotguns. Uh, shooting clay carpets. My wife and I do that. What is your favorite TV show? TV show? Uh, I don't watch a lot of TV. Baseball, I like watching sporting events, uh, baseball and football, things like that. What is your favorite movie? Favorite movie, Top Gun. <laughs> Mine too. What's Which your favorite pizza topping? Probably mushrooms. I like sausage and mushroom. Cat or dog? Dog. 
What is your favorite singer or band? Uh, the Eagles. Okay, I'm a big Eagles fan. I like going to, to those concerts. I uh, went earlier this year and they have a song that fits this sport perfectly. It's uh, called Life in the Fast Lane. What was your favorite school subject? I like math. Yep. And you use a lot of math and drag racing, right? That makes sense. That's very true. <laughs> thank you, Robert Hyatt. That concludes our interview. Thank you. Thank you, yes, guys. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And good luck junior racing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.